Kiki, here's a uh, two hurdle with an eight step approach from a standing start. Driving out on the early steps. Want to make sure that you're pushing strong. Attacking early. Don't back off and create more space for yourself. You want it to feel crowded towards the end to help lower the trajectory and create better rotation. That's step four, I believe. Five and six. There's a little bit of reachiness here that you definitely wouldn't normally want. Seven is okay. You want eight to be this nice low heel recovery and then just drop real close to the hips. So you get that low swing there, and then just drop onto the ball of the foot. You'll take that. Then you want a nice flat trajectory with the hips displacing well past the foot. Maybe a little bit more dip at the torso to create a little bit more rotation. Slightly high over this hurdle. Good contact there, just a touch in front of the hips, but not bad at all. Just take a look at this trail leg. We really were talking today about keeping the knee above the foot. And you lose that a little bit. It gets a little bit up there. And then onto the front side, and you just, you got that foot under, but we got to keep that torso forward. You just get that shin a little bit away there. Contact on the ball of the foot. And then we want on the balls of the feet. So a toe contact there. And another one there. And it looks pretty good. And good movement to the hurdle here. More displacement off the ground. Again, we've got that foot a little bit. Above the knee here, we want to bring lead with that knee driving up toward the armpit. Not just scraping over the hurdle, but coming up and down. And not too much reach on the front side there, so that's not too bad.